Did I get that? So I don't like this and you disappointed in no, I'm not disappointed. I thought we I thought we played against a really slick, good Chelsea team, especially in the first half. And uh, and I was thrilled to get at half time only one 0 down. Uh, I gave away a real poxy first goal. Uh, which uh, you know, if it had been a really good footballing goal, which they're capable of, but I gave away a bad goal. So I was thrilled to get in at half time. Uh, you know, just to go down and always in with a chance of getting something out of the game. At the time, there. I thought there was a bit. I didn't know my angle. I wondered. I was waiting, and Marco getting his shot away. I think if it had been any other player but Canty, I don't think they'd have caught Marco. Uh, anyway, so whether it was a penalty or not, uh, we didn't get it. But uh, I'd rather talk about how well the team performed and keeping at it and giving us a chance and getting us another point. Joe Hart. Um, that was Joe Hart. We knew. Yeah. Yeah. Ago, so. so Joe Hart. It, why he's got so many caps, why he's got so many medals and played at the top top level. He showed that performance today and I think it'll be good for Joe. I think Joe showed, showed if he gets that level of form then everybody knows he's very good. A little bit of daylight between yourselves and the bottom three now. I think six points, that's uh, comfortable at this stage, isn't it? Relatively uh, it's, it's, it's not comfortable enough. I, I know that if I was down there I'd be thinking I wish I'd got what they've got. But uh, from where we are, you know, I want to try and push on. You know, we picked up four points in the last two games. After the, the situation at Burnley, I've got to say, I think the, the club, the team, everybody have done a brilliant job. And I, I've got to say, I thought the supporters today for West Ham, the way they paid a tribute to Ray Wilkins was, was credit. And uh, I think they all have got away today, pleased with the performance of their team and, and getting something out of the game. Did you, um, would, this would be very much a bonus for you, I'm assuming. I mean, Joe's been on mm -hmm. the. The, the yeah. Or maybe Marco saying that Stoke is really the game of the season mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, we've just finished this one and I thought today I can only discuss this one before we'll get ready for next one. Next one. If we perform the way we've been doing them, we'll give ourselves every chance. You know, the, a, they've got a great togetherness. I said that. We went away after it, made ourselves much stronger. We're able to do a few things together and, uh, and hopefully it's shown a little bit on the pitch as well. I mean, you're you're defending to... apart from the goal, which you don't obviously was, mm -hmm. uh, as you describe it, poxy. You're, the rest of your defending was good, wasn't it? Generally, generally were very good because, you know, they they were terrific at times. Their, their play, their combination play with Marata and Hazard, and it have been it would have been really difficult for the best centre halves, whoever they were, to deal with their speed and their quickness. You know, the pitch was quick today as well, with the way the weather was and suited them. So it was difficult for us to stay and hang in. But in the main, we've done a pretty good job. Yeah, David, you were talking to Javier quite a lot before he came on. I think it was about a minute mm -hmm. or so you were in conversation. Did yeah. he tell you he was going to score? No, he didn't tell me he was going to score, but Chicharito's made a, a, a career out of scoring goals and just said he's a, he's a great penalty box striker. You know, he's got great movement in the box. He pulls away from people. And you know that you can probably name loads of strikers yourself who are really instinctive in where they go to score. Things that you probably can't teach your coach. I think harvey has got all that. I think he's made a great career and he's had a great career with that as well. And, uh, you know, Nobbs played a good through ball and Marco kept it alive and cut it back. And if you want to fall to somebody in the box in that situation, Chicharito's is as good as anybody. What difference does it make to your team when Joe is in that type of form? Where I, th I think if, if whoever's going to play Chelsea, you're going to need a good, need a good goalkeeper. Tottenham need a good goalkeeper if they're going to try and play them. So, do, so will all the teams, because Chelsea are always going to make chances. So we've got we've got a few of the big teams to come, and we're going to need our goalkeepers to play well in the games because we, you know, you can't. These teams are very good. They've got, you know, really top strikers. Um, somebody with sharp eyes at home seems to have spotted Tom Kearney sitting behind you today. Did he? Um, and then obviously there was speculation in, in January. Mm -hmm. People are putting two to, to put on mm -hmm. me basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 putting two and two together and yeah. making it out nine. Yeah. Did you know he was sitting there? No idea. No. No tickets out, not from us anyway, and uh, <laughs> yeah, no idea, no. I was hoping you were going to say Messi was sitting behind me. <laughs> 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 Thank Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.